Hey everybody, welcome to Advantage One RV. My name is Josh the RV Nerd. This is just over 2,600 pounds, the most popular of Rockwood's A-frames. And Rockwood is the most popular folding camper trailer brand out there. So, you know, pop-ups or fold-downs or whatever you want to call them, Rockwood's the number one at doing this, and this is their number one floor plan. It, and for good reason, it has a twin to king convertible bed, impressive storage for something this size. Anyway, you got that big front storage trunk, which actually has two tiers. It's a power lift system to make life simple and easy for you. And these things are what I uh, lovingly refer to as, I call them mutants, because it's like they have the features of a travel trailer in something that folds down like a suitcase. You want to park it in your garage, you want to move it by hand, you've got a limited tow capacity. Like if you got a 3,500 pound tow rating or something like that, like a tow package minivan, these things are awesome. And this one even has a handy little cassette half bath. It's one owner. We sold it down the street at Halet RV when it was brand new originally. Looks like maybe they used it a couple times and just didn't have a chance to get out and use it a whole bunch more than that. The original grill's not even touched from the outside. It's in great shape. One of the things I love about these, though, is the fact that there's there's just windows everywhere. Every direction you look in this, you've got coverage, whether it's that front wall, the two giant side walls, the skylight over the rear bed that we'll see in a second, even in the doorway. You can see everywhere, and everything except that rear skylight opens for airflow, but they all have some kind of really thick fabric, hefty blackout curtain, like obviously we can see out here plain as day but you pull that across and you know there's no light coming through so if you really want to blot it out for privacy you definitely can now uh the entry door naturally has a fold in it but thankfully you know with that handy little clip right there it ends up acting just like a normal rv door and it's it's i think this clever combination of the what we're going to see i call the twin to king vertible mattress system and then over here a little hideaway half bathroom. It's got a cassette toilet built in that uh, it's there when you need it, gone when you don't. You can see we're carpetless, we're easy cleaning, that table free float so it can go outside for picnic time, which is really darn handy. And something else you're going to see is this RV actually has, in a way, two heating systems and two cooling systems. So up here, we've got a 12 volt powered extra large vent fan, and it's right above the cooking station so that if you are cooking up a storm, it can really exhaust a lot of that heat. Or if you're, say, boondocking, off-grid camping, or if it's just like a nice spring or fall night and it's cool outside, you can just get some fresh airflow rolling in here. But you also have a propane furnace system for when the going gets tough and the temperature gets cold. But the RV also includes that thing right there, which is a, uh, a 110 powered, meaning park power or um, generator powered electric heat pump, which can act as an air conditioner or an electric heater, which is kind of cool. So in a way you could use this RV without propane and maintain full function of it, which is kind of cool. Although if you're going to want to use the fridge on propane, or if you're going to want to do any cooking, you, or run the furnace, obviously, you'll want to fire the uh, propane up there. Now, speaking of which, one of the cool things uh, about the high wall A-frames compared to like an A122 series Little Brother is a bigger uh, fridge with a small freezer in it. And actually, I think we should probably start just opening all the storage space around there so you can see it. There's also that extra wing out countertop, which is nice. And again, just trying to be totally fair and transparent. It looks like the only things they really used on this RV were the stove and the sink a little bit. And it looks like that just needs to get scrubbed out. There's only one other notable uh, thing on here uh, that is outside of factory spec that I, I observed. And it's this weird um, crease. Like, it's not a crack. It's just a, it's just a bump. And this is like a tin skin type sort of thing thing on the inside this is an all laminated wall i don't really know what could have caused that because it's not looking funny on either of the other corners of that skylight nowhere else in the rv it's just this one little funny spot it doesn't appear to be anything significant or anything really wrong with the rv i've never seen one do that and We've been carrying A-frames since Rockwood first introduced them. We were a charter dealer of their A-frames down at Halet RV. Anyway, not here at Advantage One since we're pre-owned only. But I've never seen that. I don't, 
I think it's just a, a fluke glitch in the lamination, which, man, Rockwood doesn't do often. Uh, it's the best guess I got. The only other thing I can think of is when we go outside, you'll see that there's a bike rack like mounting kit uh, over that skylight. Maybe somebody just went whole hog and overloaded it. But holy cow, I just I can't believe that would have caused it. I'm, I'm just not sure. Regardless, um, one of the things I mentioned is that this has that twin to king vertible bed system. So uh, you see that there's the two single beds. We've got storage below and I love that center stand right there. But something that is really cool on these is there are power outlets all over the place. Now, the uh, the other bed that we haven't seen yet, against the countertop that sticks up, it also has like a, an outlet hidden back there. So like behind the microwave facing the mattress, there's also a, uh, a handy set of outlets there. Now, like I said, there are shades to pull down, uh, you know, either curtains or a shade, a pleated shade for that rear uh, skylight. That up there is a handy little co uh, clothes hanger, so it could be used for shirts, jackets, Uncle Gary's sundress, whatever the case may be. Down here, we've got our uh, uh, thermostat, which again has a heat mode for the uh, uh, electric side of the heater, a propane furnace mode, and then a normal air conditioning mode, which is all kind of cool how they break that up. You've uh, also got TV hookups, and I figure, why not take a look at the little storage right there, uh, including the microwave, as well as the fact that now we can convert over into that king bed arrangement. The RV includes a couple little conversion mattress segments. So if you want two individual beds, maybe the two of you just prefer, like you could put different bedding on here. You don't have to use just these mattresses. That's what I love about twin beds. You could use mattress A over here, mattress B over there, and have your own separate bedding. Some people like them firm, some people like them soft, and sometimes those two people live in the same household. Or you could kind of combine it all together. And nothing says you have to like take the plank out, leave the plank in. If you just want to make it one giant bed and leave it that way, do it, man. These things are always head turners too. I tell people all the time, if you get an A-frame camper like this, one of the biggest things that you should come to expect is a lot of knocks on your door from various curious passers-by. People want, they've seen these things, but they've never been in them, and they're like, I kind of want to see what that's all about. You mind if I come look at your camper? That's a very normal occurrence when, when you have one of these. But at the same time, with their small size, they are very good about just getting out of the way off the grid. Now over here, a big storage space under one of those mattresses, and you see that you can actually get to that from inside or outside a little bit, which is kind of cool. All the original grilling hardware, the little prep table comes included with it, and I don't even know if this has been fired up other than when Halid RV first did the initial like test burn. I don't think that thing's ever really been used. The uh, double folding step is one of those nicer things they put on these high walls. They're small enough, you probably don't need to. But Rockwood is rarely the brand that only does what they need to. Now the closed compartment door is the location of the uh, uh, cassette for the uh, the toilet. And this is where I was saying you have a, a two-tier storage solution. You also see you have a little bit of storage below the, uh, the booth bench next to the half bath over there. But this goes all the way the length. It's like seven foot long. It goes the entire uh, length of this chest or width of it or whatever you want to call it. But up top here, there is also this dedicated separate trunk. And I love how they sectionalize that. So that if, you know, that trunk is pretty tall, even for me, like that's at my chest level and I'm a tall dude. Well, <laughs> I don't feel like climbing into that thing like, uh, like a little toddler in a toy box every time I want to get something out of the bottom of it. You've got the power tongue jack doing the lifting for us, which is nice. Double propane tanks with automatic changeover regulator and something else here. I think it's very cool, especially if you're a first timer. And these campers, again, they're they're very attractive to a lot of people who have a more limited tow capacity. Like maybe you've got a smaller like Subaru or something like that. First thing that just came to mind. Well, those vehicles, eh, we don't really like hacking into the wiring to wire up a brake controller. And these folks must have listened to us because they actually put on that a Prodigy RF wireless brake controller. Now that requires a handheld remote that I have not located going through this camper a couple times now. I have mentioned that to our consignment officer down here at Advantage One. We are reaching out to the folks for whom we are selling this camper and uh, seeing if they have the controller and they can send it to us because the, the unit's not gonna do you much good otherwise. So at the time of this filming, I do not have confirmation as to whether that will or will not be included, 
I want to believe it will be. Since it's a loose object, it was probably an oversight that it wasn't bundled in with the camper. And chances are we'll get that resolved. But I don't want to guarantee that and then find out when you show up, oops, that didn't turn out the way I thought. That's a power lifter, by the way. Uh, the, uh, you know, big roof sections. They're tall. They're not terribly heavy, but it's really tall. And it's got a high wind assist system that also does help put it up and down, which is kind of cool. But they're, they're hard to reach. So that, that power lift is nice. Now, this actually has the Wi-Fi Ranger system on it, like the Rockwood Mini Lights and Geo Pros and all that stuff. That's basically, it's a signal access point and point of technicality. But the way that I like to describe it, the more people are familiar with, it's basically a router. The camper effectively kind of has like a router built into it. And again, you see that little Pro Rack mounting system on the back. They make, it's just the, the base rack, but there are mounts that you can get that uh, you can attach bikes, cargo pods, kayaks, and uh, <coughs> mother-in-laws. Let me know what you think of this one. I always appreciate your feedback. And is there something else I could do better for you when these come through? Let me know. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and tap that subscribe button, everyone.